Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Pandor, and with me is Steam. Hi, Steam. Hey there. And today we want to show you a little tutorial about how to use the URL in your browser to control the scene, like what it is showing. Yeah, you might know this from um, other websites, but what we're using is the location hash. So everything that's behind this um, little hashtag thingy in your your Alba. And as you can see, if Pandora now changes uh, the number of the scene from um, zero to one or back, um, it will change from our sphere to um, our cube. And if we did this a few times, we can also use the browser back and forth buttons uh, and navigate as if we were on a real web page. And also we can set this from inside, like change the URL parameters um, from inside patches by using, for example, as we do the sidebar. What we see right now is the example patch. You can find it in the documentation of the location um, hash operator. Um, but we will uh, try to build this from scratch so you can follow it a bit better so we have an empty project and start from scratch um, yeah. by creating two scenes yeah another cool thing is that this looks like you visit a new page but actually it's not reloading the page it's it's just staying there because like if you change something behind this hash like it, the browser will not reload the whole page it will just change the content because everything after that hash is just handled on the client side just for your information okay let's build it so i will um rebuild that scene basically so i want to render a sphere there it is and i will use the if true um, operator to control if the sphere is on the screen so right now it's turned off and when i turn this little checkbox on then we will see a sphere so I can just copy and paste this and do the same. Okay, let's rebuild it. Um, if true, and then I will put a cube. And now I can render the cube like this. It's not visible because it's behind the sphere. So if I turn off the sphere, now we are rendering the cube and now we see the cube. So. Basically, what we want to do is um, just control those both uh, operators. So imagine like you have like a main menu and there's like the about page and your, I don't know, like photo gallery or something. So you can switch between those, those uh, areas on your website, basically. Um, yeah, before we go into the location hash and URL thingy, I think we um, should build a simple sidebar to control these two ops, right? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Yeah, just um, a sidebar with um, like two buttons that turn this on and off. No. The button, there's no state from a button. Let's just do it uh, with the op itself. Okay. Um, so we use the location hash op, right? This one. Location hash root. So this, the root is basically um, the structure of the, the hash navigation. So everything that's behind this thing here um, is called the root in this op. So we can say something like scene and then the next part is basically what we want to work with. So let's use scene slash colon name. The name will then basically be a variable name for whatever is in there. So if we put scene um, sphere, as we do right now, um, our name will then be sphere, um, as you can see in the output of the operating object. Yeah. So you see, like, first of all, you see if it's matching. So if, if I write, I don't know, um, not seen, but test seen, then it will say matching false because the start of this root is just not valid for this. So it has to be seen so that it's uh, valid. So you can also have multiple of those roots, but that's a more complicated thing. So this thing is matching, and now we 
we want to know what's in this name, right? So um, you can <clears throat> you can see like we have three outputs, like it was changed, it's a trigger, it is matching, and then there's values. So values is an object. So let's look into this by this little magnifier icon. And then you see it's an object uh, with a member name, and this says sphere. So this is what I entered here. So when I enter cube, and update this, then you see it says cube. And this is the information that we want, basically. So now we need to get this from this object to this little Boolean uh, true-false value, right? So for this, we need an um, op that's called object get a string getting a string from object by key. So our key is the word name. Which this is the same that we used in the column um, root, right? Exactly. Yeah. So this this is our key later. So we can have multiple. We can also say something like color, and then we could also specify the color. Um, but let's just stick to name. So we get the string by the key name, and the result is cube already. So still, we cannot connect this to this because it's, it's not the same. So we want to know. We need like a true false from this. So we can say string equals. So we do a comparison. So if this stream, this string equals cube. So if this string is cube basically, then the output will be true. So I can connect this here. And then it will render the cube. So when I change this to something else, it will be false, so and then it's not rendering. So to get something on the screen right now, it just has to be perfectly cube to show it. Yeah, now we have to do the same thing over again with sphere. And we're still working with the variable, so um, we can copy this and um, then just put sphere in there. And this will then return false, of course, because the URL um, says cube right now. But after everything is connected and we change the URL to sphere, um, we should basically switch um, the scenes because it's not cube anymore, but sphere. Um, so we're seeing the sphere and not the cube. Yeah, so you can also see that the trigger is just switching between both of the um, objects, basically. So now I can also click my browser back and forth button and you see um, it's switching between them. And as we've seen before, or as um, Pandio said before, uh, we're not reloading uh, the entire page, even though we're changing the URL. We're just changing um, data in the URL um, and having this information um, available immediately without a reload. So a nice way of um, yeah, changing uh, scenes in your patches. But it also works if you just start from scratch, right? So if I just, you can send this URL to someone. Um, and for example, you want to show the cube, then you can just send this URL and then it will open. Um, and then it will show the cube. So you can absolutely link this from another website or send this via social media or whatever and, and just control what the visitor is going to see. Um, it's basically something like deep links into your patch state, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, but another thing that you want to do is we want to build like a menu in this patch that also controls this, um, right? Or did I forget something? No, sounds all fine. Okay, let's now just we are, this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, simply with a sidebar and um, let's just make two buttons um, one we will call sphere the other one we will call cube um, and those buttons should change the url basically 
Yeah, what we're going for, yeah, usually we're <clears throat> really wiring these sidebars to the ops themselves or um, writing to variables um, and then uh, reading these variables. But now we're doing this completely without variables, just having our state information or scene information in the URL, basically. Yeah, this is what I meant in the beginning also. Like, I don't, like, we don't want to connect this to yeah. the, the if true then ops. We just want to change the URL and then this whole process works exactly as if I would change the URL. So we need a different op for this um, to set this route. And this is called um, set location hash. So as the name says, like it will just set everything behind uh, the hash in the URL. So how does this look like? So there's a string input, the hash. So that's the, the result that will be set in there. And so I can just enter scene sphere here and press update. Oh, and you have to activate. Yeah. Exactly, that's not always the first thing. <laughs> so I can click update now and then it will change to the sphere. So um, I could just use this twice, I guess and um, connect this one to the sphere and oops, this one to the cube and change this to cube and now I can use this those buttons to switch between those two operators and it's pretty cool that they are not like this they are all not connected like this is just different from this thing so you could also have like a little footer menu or a smaller menu or like on desktop you have a different menu than on mobile and you can just use those ops to go to the area of your website um, yeah and let's not forget that um we see the um the actual url changing so if you now copy this and send this to, uh, to someone um he or she will then have the same state that you're in so if we um, select cube and we copy this cube url um people will see the cube and if we do sphere um people will see the sphere basically um a variable on the outside that you can share with people yeah. um, via the url yeah um yeah this is the basic example so um you can also look at um, this up uh, view documentation there's um there is lot documentation about it um there's this uh, example patch that we showed in the beginning so you can edit this it's basically what we just um built in our patch here it's also documented again so um this should get you started and then you can try and add like multiple parameters and and build more complex sites with it yeah, if you have any questions about this, let us know. Join our Discord and ask questions or in the forum. And um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Yeah, have, uh, have fun patching. Bye.